Hey, what's going on, guys? Adam on the for day 14. Um, yesterday was kind of arbitrary. Uh, it was kind of spur of the moment. Today, what I'm talking about is probably what I was going to talk about yesterday, but we just decided to do something a little different. So if it's off the walls, that's probably why. Um, I don't feel like I touched on that topic um, two days ago as much as I wanted to. I want to talk about um, when I was talking about empathy and talking about listening to people first. Um, I didn't really review the video all that much, but I'm pretty sure I missed out that uh, there's a difference between empathetically listening to somebody and actively listening to somebody. You know, we have the personality traits and we have the um, the character traits. And uh, as I said before, personality traits are things like you know you're trying to communicate and you're trying to do these surface level techniques. It's just you know things you read in a book when you know character ethics are just things you who what you are and by leading with integrity and things like that. Um, something I want to talk about with communication, this is more like a personality trait. This is more like something to identify who you're talking with. <clears throat> um, so if you've ever gotten an argument with somebody before and you swear you have the same message as they do, one of the reasons that you might have this dissonance in the conversation is because of the simple fact that they're a different kind of learner than you are. Um, if you listen very carefully to the way people talk, you might notice something, especially after watching this video. Um, people have a primary way of communicating and it is through one of their five senses exclusively. Now, it, typically it's only with um, three of them and that's auditory, visual, and kinesthetic. Now what I mean by this is I mean that people actually use very particular words to, to describe their position and if you don't speak the same language as they do then you're not going to get a point across and you might actually cause, you know, have friction just because you aren't speaking the same language. Um, for an example, an auditory um, learner is going to be talking in the sense of anything associated with hearing. So if I was to give a couple examples, I would say like, if they're agreeing with you, they might say something like, oh, I hear where you're coming from, or hey, listen to me for a second, I want to go over this with you. If it's a visual person, they're going to say things about like, uh, come over here, let me show you something. Or I see where you're coming from, or anything that has to do within the visual realm their words will be directly correlated with the um, the kind of sense, like very sense-oriented words. And then kinesthetic, um, you have your five different senses. Kinesthetic is touch, more or less. Um, but with a kinesthetic sense, that's more about ideas of feeling. So some people are very focused on talking about how they feel. And they may, you know, you can have the other two senses thrown in there, but it would be really bizarre um, and hard to catch on. Mainly we have the three that we focus on. So if I were to put these in a conversation where it would make sense of how there could be a problem, if you have an auditory speaker and you had a visual speaker, one the conversation might go something like this. Somebody might come over and say, here, let me show you something real quick. I want to go over you know, the plans for what we plan on doing. And the other person who might be an auditory listener would be like, listen, you're not listening to what I, I'm saying. This is what, no, I, I just showed you that's exactly what it is. No, you, can't you hear that? I mean, literally, this happens. People have those particular um, just phrases ingrained in their, their mind and they talk like that subconsciously, completely, you know? But you can identify that because when you focus on what kind of um, learning method they are and the language that they actually use, you can actually tune in on that and automatically build rapport just like that. So it's a super powerful tip, super way of just getting on key with somebody and less arguing, you know? This is a um, personality trait skill, so it's like, you know, it doesn't, doesn't beat having a good character, but it's something that would definitely help you communicate in general. So this is all I got for you today. Um, hopefully you got something from there. Take care.